Hey everybody, welcome back to another Abyss Paint video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the selection layer in Abyss Paint X. This was requested by a viewer, so if you're watching this, I hope it helps you. The selection layer is a layer in which everything that you use the magic wand with and the lasso with is kept. It sort of shows what you've done with that tool. So here I have some things from a previous Abyss Paint video, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I select them. So if you're using the magic wand to select something to colour in an area, like this, this all dotted around here is the area that you've affected, as you will know if you've used this before. Then if you go into your layers though, you will see the layer up here called selection layer, which shows you the parts that you have selected with the tool. Here there are a different few things that you can do with the layer. One thing you can't do is move it. You cannot move the selection layer ever. If you want to clear it out, then you just press this here, and it will get rid of all parts you've selected. You can use this a lot like with other layers, in terms that you can transform it if you want, like this, and you can then edit it and transform. You can invert this, which only inverts the selection, meaning everything else will be selected apart from the part that you chose earlier. You can flip it and such, but you can't merge it or delete it as a layer. The closest thing you can do to that is clearing the layer. One thing that I really like about the selection layer that you will probably know is that you can choose which parts you want to select from on the layer. You can draw on this layer, which is just essentially drawing the parts that you want to select. Like here. This is the selection brush, essentially, and because we're on that layer, it will be the selection part. Then if you go off that layer, you'll see the part that you drew in is part of the selection now. This also applies to the eraser. You can erase parts of the selection by drawing them there. I think different types of brushes also work with this, but I'd stick with a simple brush to make things easy. You can also blur the selection area. You can essentially treat it like a normal layer, but without text and with most of the drawing tools. It's honestly a really interesting feature to play around with, and I haven't played around with it loads if I'm being honest. You can also smudge with it as you can see here. Opacity with brushes works here as well, though I'm not sure what the point really is of having different opacities for the selection, you can do it. Same with the erasers. So in that respect, it's really similar to an actual drawing layer. And again, to clear it off, you can just press this here, remove selection. Even if you tried to add a layer while on the selection layer, it would just make a normal layer underneath it. You can save these layers as transparent PNGs though, which I don't really see the point of, but I suppose if you wanted to, then you could. That is how to use the selection layer in Abyss Paint X. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Thank you for watching. Bye!